Hi friends, welcome to Meta Cafe's Trending Topics brought to you by T-Mobile and the Samsung Galaxy S 4G. I'm Matt Zoller, the Twinja, which stands for Ninja of Twitter. First up, happy April Fool's Day, everybody. And there's been a number of April Fool's pranks on Twitter this week. We promise we're not gonna report on any bogus trends, but we'd be remiss if we didn't let you know about the famous Twitter fake death trend that struck again. Past victims have included Jeff Goldblum, Bill Cosby, and Miley Cyrus. This time around, it was Jackie Chan that uh, kicked the bucket. Or is he just no longer alive and kicking? One could say maybe he just kicked that nasty oxygen habit. On to video games, the Nintendo 3DS released recently and also releasing is the film Super, starring Twitter aficionados Ellen Page and uh, Rain Wilson. So how about a combo? Rain Wilson is a superhero? Let's see how he does, okay? On to movies, Source Code was released today. It stars Jake Gyllenhaal and it's about a soldier who travels back in time eight minutes to try and stop the bombing of a Chicago commuter train. Whoa, Matt, don't do this joke. What, why? Because I'm from the future and it's not funny. You have to trust me on this. Okay, I trust you. The Shorty Awards were trending and I thought I'd give out my own Shorty Award to Shorty Ellen Page from that movie, Super. Whoa, Matt, are you serious you're doing this again? Yeah, you know the Shorty Awards are actually the Oscars for Twitter? No, I didn't know that. On to TV, AMC was negotiating Mad Men this week, and it turns out the show may be on hiatus until 2012. Maybe there'll be a spinoff in the meantime about the legion of female John Hamm fans who are upset about the cancellation, and they'll call it Mad Women. Or a spinoff featuring John Hamm shirtless all show, and they'll call it Hammer Time. No. Wait a second, I'm not done. Are you serious? We're still here? Yeah. Elton John is hosting SNL this weekend. How about a sketch on SNL that ends up as a TV show spinoff with Elton John Ham? Not unless you want to see Elton John react like this. Rude, vile on to trending sports, March Madness continues. Now the other week, we had a supposedly lucky dragon to predict the NCAA tournament games for us. He was faulty, so we took him back, swapped him for a winner. Now let's see how our new guy does when he predicts the final four. Okay, we've got our new predictor here. We've heard this guy's better than last one, but he's a little shy. So come on out, buddy. Predict our final four, make us some money. Ah! No, Bronx Zoo, Cobra, Bronx. no, please, God, I knew it. Ah! Man, so the Bronx Zoo Cobra Escapes opens a wildly popular Twitter account, and it has nothing better to do than to bite our predictor. I mean, we put a $500 deposit down on that little guy. Can't we bring Matt, the time traveler, back in to fix this? Hey, yo, man. Hey, dude, what happened to you? I just traveled back in time and went to the Bronx Zoo to make sure that Cobra never got out of its cage. Dude, you're a freaking hero. Bring it in, bring it in. Yeah. Okay, so Future Matt was right. The Shorty Awards is actually an award show for Twitter. So we'll go ahead and give you a rundown of who won. Conan O'Brien won a Lifetime Achievement Award. But wait, nobody knew who he was before 1993. 18 years does not a lifetime make, shorties. Oh, I won a shorty too. April Fool's, sucker. Oh man. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter too. We'll see you next week on Meta Cafe's Trending Topics, brought to you by T Mobile and the Samsung Galaxy S 4G.